Welcome back to another video. I thought today I would take a few minutes to show some of the recent pickups that I got from Aero Video. And I got a, a new release here that you see before you. And then I have eight titles that I picked up from their Black Friday sale. And um, I think I'm going to make a separate video for this Necromantic 2. I just wanted to kind of show it off first. I'm going to unbox it in the next video. And this is a film by Jorg Butgerite from 1991. And this is the DVD Blu-ray combo pack. And it comes with a 100 page book and the soundtrack to the film, which is really cool. And it was limited to 3000 and it sold out. And there's the spine. And then there's the back. Not sure if you guys are gonna be able to pick that up, but if you would like to uh, pause and read. This is the three disc director approved limited edition. And I believe they are going to re-release this without the 100 page book and without the soundtrack from what I heard. So, but this, uh, this box set here will be, is out of print and it's going for some pretty good money right now. And this is the um, Region B UK edition. I'm not sure if they're going to release a limited edition for the US. That's very possible, but I haven't heard any news about that one yet. But that is Necromantic 2. And uh, next I picked up a little four pack of films by Jules Dassin, who is uh, very well known for his film noir titles. And uh, this one here is Brute Force, starring Burt Lancaster from 1947. And Jules Dassin is very renowned for making his film noir movies. And um, sadly, he passed away in 2008. And he was the uh, he was the subject of a lot of criticism in the late 40s, early 50s during the McCarthy era. And he was actually blacklisted as a Hollywood director because some of his films were controversial. And which I thought was really ridiculous to uh, to hear about all that and to read about it. And he ended up going over to France in 19. His last U.S. film was 1950. And he ended up going to uh, France. And I'll show you his. My favorite movie of his is coming up yet. This is Brute Force. I'm just kind of showing you guys um, some of the innards here. Not really great disc art, but it's better than just a silver disc, I guess. And then here's the reversible sleeve here which looks pretty nice. Nice image of uh, Burt Lancaster there. And I may switch this one out. I think I like this one a little bit better. And then this one also comes with a little booklet here. It's not very little. I mean, it's about 20 something pages, I think. 30 pages. And it has some nice, uh, some nice stills in here, and then it has a little interview and some write-ups about the film. And I enjoy Brute Force. Um, I think it's one of his top five movies of Jules Dassin. It's not my favorite, but it's top five. So that is Brute Force. And then the second one I picked up from Jules Dassin was The Naked City, and I actually have this one already. The only reason I, I got it twice is because you had to get the four pack here to get the Black Friday deal, which uh, it ended up coming out to about 10 bucks per disc shipped. So I couldn't pass that up for the uh, Blu-ray DVD combos. I will probably end up trading this one to somebody out there or maybe even just sending it as a gift. So uh, this is a really good one. I enjoyed it. Uh, it's The Naked City, and that one came out in 1948. I did show this one in a previous um, update video of the other edition that I got. I'm just going to go ahead and show this one here. It's a pretty good disc art there. And then there's like a reverse image of the the artwork on the second disc, which this is the DVD right here. And then as usual, it has reversible artwork here, which is pretty cool. It's a black and white film, and I actually like the black and white cover a little bit better, I think. It's a little more fitting to me. And then it has another booklet here. And this one has a uh, 
little advertisement card, I guess, which we've all seen these before. I'd like to get La Grande Bouffe. Right, this one's the Massacre gun, which uh, this was also available for Aero Video's Black Friday sale. This is a limited edition to 3000 and they have not sold out yet. I would recommend grabbing that one before it's too late, guys, if you want to, if you like um, Japanese gangster style films, pick up the Massacre gun. And here's the booklet for the Naked City. Very nice, uh, high quality booklet here with some stills and. A lot of information about the film. Their old video does it right. So that is the Naked City. That is from 1948. The third Jules Dassin film is Thieves Highway, and this is probably this is probably my my second favorite Dassin film, and it's another film noir. And uh, uh, Lee J. Cobb played a very good role in here. And this is a Region B film. I'm not sure if they're ever going to re-release these for U.S. Uh, customers, but you're better off just getting a region-free player and picking these up while you can. And these have really nice disc art. Here's the Blu-ray. And then here's the DVD. And that, that is great right there. That is really nice artwork. And then you you have that same image as a reversible cover, which is very cool. Thieves Highway came out in 1949, and this was his second to last movie that he made in the U.S. Um, I believe his his last movie it was uh, Night in the City, but which I do not own, and that was 1950. I would like to pick that one up. He didn't have complete control of that film, though. That was his last movie. He was hired. He had a contract with Fox at the time. And uh, McCarthy was kicking him out, blacklist listing him. And he wanted to hurry up and make one more movie to uh, fulfill his contract with Fox, at Fox. And then uh, I believe he just had directorial rights. I don't think he had anything to do with, like, the sound or anything like that, from what I understand. And then my favorite film from Jules Dassin is Rififi, and this is a, this is a very very good film. This was made in France in 1955, I believe. Um, this movie here inspired the movie Ocean's Eleven, and this is a really good gangster slash. Uh, it's like a jewel heist film, and um, many of you have seen this already. This has a Criterion release which I do not own, so I'm glad to grab this one here from the Black Friday sale that Arrow had. And again, these titles came out to about $10 a piece shipped, so I mean, you can't beat that. And this is just the Blu-ray, and it is Region B. And then there's the reversible cover there. And I, I absolutely love this movie. This is a great movie, and this is a very thick booklet here. It's 30-something uh, pages, and it's got a ton of information that you would like to know about the film and I can't say enough good things about Arrow and I know a lot of you guys out there are big Arrow fans as well and deservedly so I mean these guys are great so this was my little Jules Dassin four pack and then I got a four pack of Jack Hill films here uh, one of them I own already, and that is a uh, Spider Baby. So I'll probably end up giving this one away or gifting it. Um, I thought the movie was okay. Um, it's it has a very young Sid Hag in the film. Um, it was okay. This one came out in 1967. There's the Blu-ray right there. And there's the DVD, and then you have the reversible cover there, which uh, I'm not a real big fan of that reverse cover. Jack Hill was kind of born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His dad was a 
set, de set designer and director for uh, Warner Brothers films. So Jack kind of grew up in the, uh, the filmmaking business. And I think he's a great... He's still with us, by the way. He's only he, I mean, he's 82 years old. He's not making films anymore, but he is still with us. I'm going to go through it all otherwise this is going to be a long video and I don't want to bore you guys but uh, here's a little art card for uh, James Caan in Thief which is another great movie you can actually get the limited edition that comes with a slipcover for this film so I recommend if you guys like uh, noir type films this is an, this is another bank heist type film if you like those kind of films go look for this one grab it and then again there's some uh some of their previous titles and some of their i don't think they have any up and coming titles on this card it's kind of an older card all these titles are out by now here so that is spider baby if anybody wants to make a trade for this one or for this one let me know Otherwise, I may just gift those to somebody down the road. There are a lot of Arrow Video fans out there, and I'm sure they'll be glad to get that one. Up next is a... This isn't really an upgrade for me. I do have the Code Red Blu-ray, but here's the Arrow Video Blu-ray, Pit Stop, which came out in 1969. This movie's pretty good. There you have the Blu-ray. DVD and then this is the cover here that was on the Code Red Blu-ray. I was going to pull that out and just kind of reference it but just there's really no need to. And then here's a card for City of the Walking Dead which I think that looks outstanding. That artwork is really good, really great. And then some of the previous releases that they had. can see some of the stills here from this black and white film it's very well done it's, the code red blu-ray looked really good I'm, I can only imagine that arrows looks as good maybe better not sure if they shared or not but. okay sorry I'm going through this so sloppily guys I'm just trying to kind of hurry up and do this and then uh, he did collaborate with Sid Hag quite a bit so you'll see a lot of Sid Hag and Jack Hill movies. He was also in The Host as well, just to name a couple others. Spider Baby was one and Pit Stop. I think this movie right here is my favorite Jack Hill movie. This is a really good uh, black exploitation, kind of a feminist type film. A lot of people think that Jack Hill was kind of a feminist director, but I don't know if I would go that far. I mean, in comparison to like a Russ Meyer, he may seem like a feminist, but I, I just think he respected women. Um, I wouldn't go as far to call him a feminist, but this is a damn good movie, and this is a Pam Greer's finest role, I think. Um, Foxy Brown is probably second to me, but Coffee is my favorite Jack Hill and Pam Greer film. This one came out in 1973. And you can see the really nice... Uh, that retro 70s vibe right there on the cover art for the disc. It's Blu-ray only. And there's the reversible, which looks very nice too, but I do prefer that one. I think that's outstanding right there. And then you have a uh, an art card in there for a blind woman's curse. And then here I'll just kind of flip through this booklet really quick and, and Pam Greer is smoking hot, guys. Very beautiful woman. I'm not telling you guys anything you didn't already know. A lot of write-ups in here. These these 70s black exploitation films are very entertaining. And this is the best one, I think, in my opinion. From Jack Hill anyway. So that is coffee, and I, I strongly recommend getting this one. You guys can go find it. Um, I don't think it has a steel book yet. It may have a steel book, but 
I know Foxy Brown has a steel book. I should uh, I should hit up Arrow Video on their uh, Facebook page and find out you know some of their steel books that are coming out. Maybe they would consider putting coffee on a steel book. That'd be great. And the uh, the fourth and last one for the uh, Jack Hill little four pack I got is uh, Foxy Brown. Another great film. It's right up there with coffee. Not quite as good, but it's it's right up there. Damn good movie. And this is a double dip for me. I do have the steel book. This one came out in 1974. And this is a Blu-ray only. And then on the inside here is the cover of what the steel book looks like. So I'm not going to flip that since I already have the steel book. I'm just going to keep that cover right there, which looks really good, by the way. And you get an art card on the inside for this one was a uh, squirm. I know they're not always going to be the same. You could get Foxy Brown on Blu-ray and you may get something completely different. But the one I got this time was squirm, which uh, I do own this on Screen Factory and Aero Video. It's a good movie. Creature feature film. And this one comes with a really nice thick booklet here. It's, about the, it's a 30 page book. You get some really nice high quality photos in here. And look at that, my goodness. Wow, that is a, that is a very, very fine woman right there. Hero so. Video, thank you very much for Putting the little extra efforts in that you do in making your high quality booklets and your um, all around great releases that you put out. As an avid collector, I appreciate the little extra things that uh, companies like that do. Makes me want to keep giving them my money, and I will. So, um, this is Region B, and uh, this is the director approved special edition. So, I'm not sure if this is limited. I think it's pretty uh, easy to get a hold of. So again, here are my four Jack Hill films. And on that note, guys, thank you for watching. I will be doing a short video after this one to kind of showcase. This one hasn't been opened yet, but I will open this for you guys. And uh, I'm sure you've already seen probably a dozen or so of these unboxings. I'm a little bit late to the game on this one. This one came out a couple weeks ago already. So... There's probably 100 videos on YouTube already, but I'm going to do my take on it. You guys can watch it if you'd like. And um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.